Well, here's a great idea for holiday entertaining. Today we're putting a very creative twist on a classic fall dessert, apple pie baked apples, yes. right? All right, good. It's we a mouthful. <laughs> Jules <laughs> Esposito, great to have you back here. These good look be so beautiful. Thank you. Almost too pretty to eat, but I know they're probably delicious, right? Yes. Um, how do we get started? I'm assuming we have to right. bake the apple first or no? No, actually we're going to um, just cut, take a knife and cut off the top of the apple. Okay. Just to give us a nice flat surface to work with. Okay. And then you just take a melon baller. And scoop, scoop out, out the, the inside. Now, yeah, I know you're using Granny Smith. Does it matter what type of apple? It doesn't matter. I just happen to find that this tastes best and it works the best, and they're a really pretty color. It's to true. Make it stand out. <laughs> so when you just have to do like two or three times around, because you just want a little bowl. You want to make a little bowl out okay, of it. Okay, you're getting all the seeds out of there. Yes. All right. So that's looking good. Um, then you're gonna take. So I made some apples, uh, cooked apples. Just simmer it down with some brown sugar, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of ginger. Okay. Um, just get them nice and soft, and then you're gonna take an ice cream scoop or just a spoon, and fill them up a little bit. Okay. Now, where did you come up with this idea, Jules? Um, I saw it online, and I sort of just adapted it a little bit to, you know, cuten it up with the little um, like. Scalloped edge yeah, for the pie. Like it looks like an actual pie. And yeah. we were chatting, you actually get to do a lot of this in school, which yes. is fun. Yeah, we have a restaurant in our school, and it's really fun to, to work there and do a lot of desserts. At Lyman Hall? Yes. Very good. All right. So. And then, for, yeah, from here, um, you could just get a store bought pie crust, which is what I did, or you can make it yourself. We don't have to make it, do we? Just? Yes, you don't have to. <laughs> so, um, this is actually a fondant tool, uh, and it, this one allows different settings to make it, you know, a quarter inch, half inch, okay. whatever you want. And you're just going to Cut out some strips, and if you don't have this, a pizza wheel works fine. Ah, okay. Um, so I made a bunch already. So we'll take three of them, and we'll lay it across the top like this. And One, they just stay two. put. They're you don't, yeah. Okay. And then you're just gonna make like a little lattice out of it. So. As if you were making a pie. Yes. Nice little portable version. That's what I like about it. So your All guests right. don't have to fight over who has the biggest. So I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna reach over yes. you and grab the apples here. Of course. So. You did all the hard work though, like scooping out the, <laughs> <laughs> the apple. Yeah, that's probably just the hardest part about it, but it's actually really easy to make. Okay. Um, and if you have little kids in your family, again, this is something really nice you can make with them. Great. Um, then I'm just going to take a little bit of egg wash. Well, that's going to make it shiny, right? Yeah, it'll make it nice and golden brown on top. This is really an easy recipe. It is. It's right? so easy. And it's so adorable. I feel like you're... And it's not that bad for you either, because it's just apples and a little bit of pie crust. Your guests and a little are bit of sugar like, too. Wow, you slaved. <laughs> you made quite a creation. Yes. Okay. And then, if you want, um, it's optional. Just sprinkle on a little bit of brown sugar so it melts over the top. Mm -hmm. And then, pop them in your oven. How long are we baking these for? Because um, we want the apple to get soft, right? Yes. You're going to bake them for about 20 to 30 minutes in a 375 degree oven. Got it. And once you're finished with that, um, take one of these. Put it over here. Take a little bit of caramel. I, I have a great recipe for salted caramel on my blog. Um, if not, you could just get the store bought, and you're going to want to drizzle this on, and this just adds another decorative element to it. Perfect. And it tastes great. And a little bit of powdered sugar. Wow, there you go. And then you serve them up to your guests, and I love that. It's a cute little Thanksgiving treat. Absolutely entry. going to make these. Yes. Do you want to try one? Uh, yeah, do I want to try one? Um, Wait, where are my apples? Here we go. <laughs> so you talked to us about the cheesecake. What yes. else is up? Uh, what else are you um, writing about this month? This month, I'm um, doing a lot of different fall recipes. Um, I have some pumpkin scones coming up. Ooh. Yep. Uh, perfect time for pump pumpkin and apple. Pumpkin it's everything, right? Favorite time right? of year. Now, do you help your family with the holidays, like Thanksgiving? Uh, or do you do I any mean, of the cooking? I mean, you're not so good really. at it. I like to, I like to just <laughs> eat on Thanksgiving. Oh, I think that's fair. <laughs> I think that's great. All right, so I'm going to finish this yes. one. There you go. Beautiful. We'll pop and they're the kind oven. of fun, too. I like to. Oh, I didn't put the egg white, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll finish it up there. Jules, thanks for being here. Anytime. And of course, Thank we'll you check so out uh, your blog. Yes, Jules Bakes, uh, juliaesposito.wordpress.com. Very good. Ryan, we'll send things over to you. We'll finish cooking over here. All right. Thank you.